not seen the Supreme Court order as yet. Neither have I gone to the details. So it's uh, difficult for me to make a comment on that right now. But what I am informed is that the Supreme Court has given some more time to the government of India to give its reply. And I was also informed that representatives of our civil society organizations also went to the previous hearing. They were present. So that is what I've, I've heard and I think that's a positive development that all the stakeholders are in the group and the representatives of civil society organizations have also gone to the Supreme Court on the day of the hearing. So is the government hoping for a positive uh, adjust judgment from the Supreme Court on these matters? What I can say is that as far as the government is concerned, we are carrying out dialogue and debate and consultations with all the sections. Recently we had a consultative meeting. The process of dialogue and deliberations and consultations will continue. And the aim of the government is to come to an amicable situation where all stakeholders, all views are taken into account and we move forward in that direction. Is the government expecting the Supreme Court to give a time frame to connect the new act? What the Supreme Court will do, what action it will take, is not for me to comment. You know it's not judicious. We respect the wisdom of the Supreme Court. The state government has been following the guidelines of the Supreme Court thus far. But what the action was taken in the assembly was because of the requests and the uh, views of the civil society organizations. Otherwise, the government has the highest respect for the Supreme Court. So my last question to you, sir, do you think that the uh, municipal, uh, the urban local body elections would happen this year? Is there any possibility? I think as far as the matter is subjudice, it is not right for me to comment right now whether it will happen or not.